Good evening, one and all, uh, and welcome to the online signing of Memorandum of Understanding uh, and uh, MOU inking ceremony between National Law University Odisha and Center for Adivasi Research and Development Odisha for multimodal uh, initiatives and projects on teaching, research, skilling, training, and global outreach of uh, uh, on the historic and auspicious occasion uh, of this uh, um, moment. Uh, we have with us eminent distinguished guests to be uh, the uh, to be the part of this historical moment. We have with us Professor Dr. S. K. Nanda, IS founding director, Bikram Sila International University. And we have with us Professor uh, Dr. Sanjay Kumar Naik, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Ravenso University, Kotak, as a chief guest. We have with us uh, Professor Beth Kumari, Honorable Vice Chancellor, National Law University, Odisha. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Yogesh Pratap Singh, Respected Registrar, National Law University. Uh, Odisha. We have with us Professor Sarat Kumar Palita, Vice Chancellor, Central uh, University, Odisha, Koraput. We have with us uh, eminent historian Professor Chandi Prasad Nanda from National Rail and Transportation uh, Institute, NRTI, Barodara. Uh, we have with us Professor Srinivasulu, NS, Professor of Law. NUJS uh, We are with us the brand ambassador of Center of Adibasi Research and Development, Padmasri, Dr. Damanti Besra, Madam. We have uh, with us uh, the foreign uh, professors from uh, Russia, Professor Svetlina is Burdonova uh, from uh, St. Petersburg State University, Russia. We are with us uh, as a guest of honor, Professor David Livingstone Smith uh, from uh, uh, University of New England, Australia. We are with us, uh, Professor uh, Nibedita Mahanti, noted historian, as a guest of honor. And uh, uh, we are with us, uh, Mrs. <coughs> Sasi Prabha Bindhani, Madam, the former State Information Commissioner of Government of Odisha. And uh, we are with us, uh, Sri Jukta Ashok Das. Uh, Secretary, Odisha Public Service Commission, and Dr. Uh, Antarjita Nayak, uh, Founding Director, ARDA Social Sciences Researches, Researcher and Writer. Also, the meeting is initiated by Dr. Vigrishna, Director, Center for Adivasi Research and Development, and uh, Dr. Uh, Subhasri Panda, Assistant Professor of Political Science, National Law University, Odisha, uh, is also with us. And Dr. Neha Sharma, uh, Revels University, Katak, uh, join us as a coordinator. So welcome everyone to this uh, precious moment of this uh, 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 precious moment uh, of this uh, um, between two organizations, National Law University and Center for Adivasi Research and Development. So now we like to invite uh, the Registrar of National Law University, Dr. Yogesh Pratap Singh, to uh, carry forward the session with uh, the inputs of uh, the National Law University's uh, site. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Rudra. Very uh, good evening to all the esteemed uh, guests dignitaries of this very special day for National Law University Odisha and the CARD Center for Adivasi Research. Uh, Odisha occupies a very important uh, place in the country with a very high concentration of population of scheduled past and scheduled tribe. As per the 2011 census, it has around 22.85% of tribal population. 
and 17% of scheduled caste population. And that is why this is our responsibility as a university, as a research institute, to help and to work for the benefit of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, especially in the state of Odisha, because National Law University Odisha was established in the year 2008. The act was passed in the year 2008 and the university started functioning from uh, year 2009. And in the last 12 years, the university has established itself as a center of excellence in terms of legal education. Uh, we have been ranked very highly by uh, amongst all the national law universities and amongst all the law colleges. The recent NIRF, the National Institution Framework Ranking, and LU was, was given 18th rank overall uh, amongst all the universities and law colleges of the country. And we were ninth amongst all the national law universities uh, in, the, in the country. We have been also ranked consistently uh, on a very high uh, place by the other uh, ranking agencies such as India Today. Uh, UGC, Ministry of Human Resource and Development has given us uh, autonomy. Uh, and this was uh, considering all the national law universities. We were only four law universities, National Law School, Bangalore, uh, Delhi. Uh, no, it was not even Bangalore. The National Law University, Delhi, Nalsar, uh, NLU, Delhi, and uh, um, and National Law University, Odisha. These four national law universities were given uh, a graded autonomy in terms of offering courses, in terms of uh, uh, setting or preparing our own curriculum. Uh, so we have the sufficient autonomy to uh, do research, to offer courses on various uh, fields. And because this university was established by the government of Odisha, and government has been very generous right from the beginning uh, in terms of giving funds and supporting in other terms. Uh, so it is, we think that it is our responsibility to do a quality research, training and other academic activities so that we can improve uh, the status of scheduled tribe population and scheduled caste population in the state uh, in, in particular. Uh, and we can, also uh, help the government and various other agencies to uh, uh, prepare better policies for the upliftment of people uh, in, the, in the state of Orissa, specifically the tribal population. And in this, keeping in mind this objective uh, of the university, uh, we have opened various research centers. So we have around 15, uh, research centers actively involved and we have a center for uh, tribal studies uh, uh, working uh, towards the uh, welfare of the tribal uh, people in the state. We are engaged in various kinds of activities, organizing workshop training programs. Recently, we uh, published a book also on the tribal rights. It was published by the Center for Tribal Studies. And to further this objective, uh, this event was also planned with the uh, Center for Adivasi Research, which is uh, a new and young organization. And uh, it seems that uh, we, can, we can work together. And uh, the purpose of signing this objective was to do various kinds of activities. I already mentioned that for the tribal, for the betterment and welfare of the tribal community, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe population in the state. Uh, so this MOU is for the purpose of doing, and uh, we have planned so many activities. So today is the beginning of that activity. And uh, in future, we hope that uh, we will involve and we will take help from all the people who are uh, present here, all the dignitaries who have joined to this function. And uh, taking your guidance, we will uh, organize and we will be moving towards uh, achieving that goal which we have fixed and which uh, our National Law University Odisha Act has uh, uh, prescribed in the, in the Act. So thank you very much for uh, signing. I thank uh, Dr. Vikram for uh, coming forward and signing this MOU. 
now we'll take forward this session and we will uh, request, I request uh, Mr. David to say a few words and guide us that what we can, we can do and how we can improve the tribal. Mr. David, over to you. Well, uh, it's, it's a, an honor and a privilege to be associated um, with, with this enterprise. Uh, I don't know what advice I could give you as you are all far more knowledgeable than I am um, about the circumstances of the tribal peoples of India. Um, so I will with appropriate humility say I will refrain and, and learn and learn more. And perhaps when I have learned more, uh, I can be of, of greater value to you. But as I said, this sounds like a, a, a wonderful connection that's being made today and uh, a, an immensely worthwhile project. Thank you, uh, Mr. David, uh, for your kind words. I would now uh, request Ms. Shweltlana Bortu Nova to share. Shweltlana Bortunova. <laughs> yes, thank yes. you so much. Thank you, dear colleagues. And I'm very honored to be part of this event today because signing such agreements uh, between uh, academic entities between research institutions and uh, sometimes universities who teach students, uh, for me personally, is a very good sign of collaborations. You know, today, Russia and the neighboring country, Ukraine, as well as my home, my, my, my native country, Belarus, which is in between, and is also trapped within uh, uh, um, a devastating military conflict. Uh, as a person who is Belarusian, has a lot of friends and relatives in Ukraine and lives in Russia, can, I can share with you my pain today. And I need to say that continuing collaborations and preserving connections throughout the world, sometimes there are conflicts, sometimes there is misunderstanding, sometimes it's, it's very violent and it's very heartbreaking, but we still need to continue collaborations. This is something that can give at least tiny hope uh, in, the, in the dark times. I do wish your sent to very bright times though. And I'm very glad that the focus of this collaboration is on people and peoples. And this is something that for me personally and for my colleagues, I'm quite sure for many of my colleagues is the focus that we have been pursuing throughout our careers. I, I really appreciate this invitation and I would love to be of help, just, just as Professor Smith just said, we would love to be of help. And uh, I think sharing your experience of uh, your devotion to studying the tribal life and studying uh, uh, peoples, I would say, not just tribes, but peoples of India is very relevant also for Russia and maybe for other multi-ethnic countries. I think this might be uh, of very good help for those who study indigenous populations, identities, uh, ethnicity in all its diversity of how it's, how, how it's being created and how it's being also communicated. Being a communication scholar, I wish that you also pay attention to how people communicate their identity and their uh, cultural uh, cultural belonging, I would say. So I wish this collaboration uh, huge success, which it deserves. So thanks indeed. And I'm glad to be here today.
Professor Pratap, please uh, unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, thank you, uh, Svetlana, for your kind words. We will be taking your help and guidance in all your uh, our future activities. I now uh, request and invite Dr. S. K. Nanda, founding director, uh, Vikramshila International University, to say a few words and guide us how we can improve this MOU and this working <coughs> Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Registrar of the National Law University. I think I am audible. Yes, yes sir. sir. In fact, I am very, very glad to see a galaxy of people, not only who are well-wishers, but also who are inter inter intricately, intricately connected with uh, uh, the entire manifold lives of the tribals, the shul caste, and they, in fact, they constitute the marginalized sections of the community. And therefore, beginning from the teaching, to the academics, to law, to a foreign uh, Svetlana in um, Belarus, to people as on this front. In fact, you have created half a globe on this. Uh, you have connected almost half a globe. So Odisha deserves the praise for that, Mr. Uh, now, second point is that, uh, you know, the I have been not only um, uh, theoretical political scientist, uh, though I'm in administration, but I'm a practitioner in tribal <coughs> areas since the last 30 years. I have a feeling that there are three things which tribals and the shul caste are denied of. One is the power of information. Second one is the digital divide. And third one is the lack of self-confidence or the lack of research. So in the process of our collaboration with the University of Law, we have to make sure that these three things, the power of information should pervade them. The digital divide, which creates a kind of complexity or complex in them, a kind of superiority, inferiority complex, should not influence them or should not come on as an obstacle on them. And third thing is that the self-assertion or self-identification or the, what you call the, uh, to create themselves a space for themselves, they are never able to create a space. They are always pushed out of the space. So creating and asking for the rights of that space through legal orientation, through counseling, and et cetera, et cetera, have to be the main objective of our curriculum, of our diploma courses, of our school and use courses. And since we're now an autonomous university, you can always be able to have these need-based courses to see that People in Kalahandi or people in Kodapur, they need this kind of thing. So it can be also need-based and it can be also customized. Another small thing I wanted to mention is that, see, mediation or in arbitration or the counseling in law and in the legal concepts are all borrowed from the tribes. Before the we had, we, the, the British people, they studied the code of law. And the lawyers were created and institutions of justices were created. To, to decide the courses according to the CPC and the CRPC. But the other means of thing, what you call the Lok Darbar model or the counseling model or the arbitration model or the uh, mediation model, I have seen it happening at the tribal level, whether it's an intermarriage problem, whether it's a community problem, or whether it's an elopement problem, whether it's a penalty problem, whether it's a chori and chapati problem. I have seen people being done. Of course, you can say it's illegal. But if it is allowed to function in the context of the law, and if it is not anti-law, I think there is no problem in continuing them, provided it is not anti-law. So that will reduce the cost of their also going to the courts, number one. Number two, I was also thinking that we should have a complete uh, section on FAQs. You, uh, the law university and the tribal uh, and the card in, uh, center, they're fully apprised of the fact that what are the FAQs, frequently asked questions during the course of our visits and our uh, tours to different places. We come to know about the tribals and the marginalized people, what kind of problems they have and what kind of questions they ask. That can be catapulted, that can be cumulatively built up into a FAQs kind of thing. And those FAQs can be answered through our experts, through experienced people. And those will be providing the really practical guiding tools to the people to see that they are able to be taught. It is like a searchlight for them. Third thing is that in the course of our uh, collaboration, I would insist and I would rather look forward to a center for innovation. 
who the tribals are very good innovators, whether it's an art, whether it is a medicine, or whether it is in the forms of uh, technology, or whether it is in the forms of this mediation, or whether it is in terms of dispute redressal, they have got some innovation practices which they follow, which is it, an unnoticed. I have noticed them. So those innovation would be probably listed and that can be attributed to an innovation center where they can also come up with products that has helped them in terms of cost, that has helped them in terms of settlement of problems. It may not be directly linked up with the law. It may not be directly linked up with the legal profession, but ultimately in the course of the investigation and our research, we'll be able to come out with a center for innovation so that the tribal people with their ethnic culture and their rich heritage and their customized practices, they are able to guide us and also have literature and we can do book binding of the entire literature or the entire practices in the form of a archive. And lastly, I would say that this is a very good beginning for the center to be with the card. And this center, through its legal people, through in conferences, through its workshops, through its improved, improvised literature building, or through these uh, digital information setups with FAQs, definitely would be able to bring 60%, 70% change in the personality development, in the body language of the tribals. And once these tribals or these marginalized people start developing the power of explosion of information, and also they have the power to ask questions and to assert their rights with authority and in the context of knowledge, I'm sure they would be able to be at par with the people because they would not be digitally inferior, rather they will be digitally at par with us. So I am sure if these three things are taken care of, FAQs are properly uh, documented, prepared in advance, or they can be well projected, well uh, uh, thought of, and some kind of orientation can be done at plus nine levels class or plus 10th level schools on a preferential, on an optional basis, probably that would give a lot of power to the individual to become some, what do we call, we can have some current in the body of the persons in the mind. We need some current in the mind of the, of the, of the tribal. Once that is projected, the rest will be followed. Books, literature, profession, uh, uh, preparing for exams will all follow. But they must have that hunger, that hunger for knowledge that hunger for finding out their own identity. They are having an identity problem. So that identity fixation has to be first thought of. In the light of their, uh, their deliverance uh, from all these issues through knowledge and information. And I'm sure with the kind of Don't this kind for you. The person in this area very, very useful. And we have a way and it will be better. I think sir is disconnected. Some network issue. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, move. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for your kind words and your guidance. We will definitely take all these uh, points into consideration when we start working. Uh, we have a very uh, special guest today. Uh, who is who is a Padma Shri a body uh, by the government of India? So I would now like to invite uh, uh, Dr. Padma, Madam Padma Shri Madam uh, Damyanti Besra to share uh, her experience and guide us. Madam, you can speak in Nuria, you can speak in Hindi, you can speak in English, whatever uh, language you feel comfortable. Unmute Karenge. Yes. 
आज नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी ओडिशा एंड सेंटर फॉर आदिवासी रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ओडिशा मध्य एमओयु सैन हो स्वागत योग्य एवं बहुत खुशी कथा यही अवसर में मु समस्त को मोर नमस्कार जनाऊँगी एवं तहत शुभे जनाऊँगी तेब आज जो आलोचना टी हूँ ट्राइबल राइट्स उपरे से संपर्क में मु मोर अनुभूति पदे दीपद कथा कह मोर जहा अनुभव अच्छी अनुभूति अच्छी से संपर्क में मुण मान सम्मेलन रखुची जे आदिवासी माने मैंने अधिकार संपर्क में जानी किंतु अधिकार जेते बड़े मिले ना से प्रति से आग्रह प्रकाश करती ना से माने अधिकार पाई थे दीथर कह बार बार कहवाई खराब लगे क्या खसामत करने नीति को से माने भल पाती ना अनेक समय आदिवासी मान को अणदेखा कराए बेले बेले जाशु से हईराण कर विभिन्न कम आदिवासी नाम योजना कराए से योजन सफलता अपेक्षा विफलता बेस आदिवासी मान को देखा जाए जेकोसी अधिकार संपर्क से माने प्रतिक्रियाशील हेले सहयोग करती ना बर सालीस करने को कह जाए से बर्तमान समय रे तार सब अधिकार प्रति से सचेतन थिले भी अधिकार पाइबो बोले तार विश्वास तुटि जा विश्वास कर आदिवासी मान मुख्य समस्या हूँ भाषा समस्या शिक्षा नीति में रही सब पा मतृभाषा शिक्षा ग्रहण करे कि आदिवासी पिला ए पर्यत तो से सुजोग पाई ना से शिक्षा पाठ पढ़ा से माने बहुत दुर्बल से ही कारण जो ही से माने अधार पाठ पढ़ा छाड़ी दूसरी तेना पाटी मतृभाषा पढ़ले सीना पढ़ा प्रति तार आग्रह आसो सी जदि पढ़व तश्चित भाव विकास हम शिक्षार अभाव आज भी आदिवासी मान भाई से कुसंस्कार अंधविश्वास भरी रही जो अंधविश्वास एत मारात्मक रोग जे समाज रो विकास पथ को अवरोध कर दूसरी आज एठार आम समस्त बुद्धिजीवी मान उपस्थित अच्छा मैडम शशिप्रभा मैडम उपस्थित अच्छा मुबलाइन मध्यम धन्यवाद दूसरी कहीं आदिवासी समाज रे जे डाणी ना ए संपर्क से गोटे फिल्म या दर्शाई जे डाणीटा प्रकृत अंधविश्वास बोली से थे कहते जदि यही फिल्म टी देख शहे जन जनकर भी मनरे विश्वास आसे बा परन आसे से निज को धन्य मन करे कहवा कथा आम प्रयास करवा सब बड़ कथा पर सागे सांगे पार ना तथापि समय आसो पर निश्चित भाव से तेणु आम प्रयास करवा कलेज हो कि यूनिभर्सीटी लेवल रे हो आदिवासी छात्र छात्री मान को सब उत्साहित करवा प्रेरणा दबा तर विश्वास से निकट में विश्वास सृष्टि करने आमको से भल पाइबा पड़ब श्रद्धा करने पड़ब कहीं मनरे गोटे धारणा अच्छी आम एस टी बोली अन्न मैने हीन दृष्टि देखुं यही भावनाटी जदि आम भांगी पार निश्चित भाव से माने बहुत आग को जापारे भितर के सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस बा आत्मविश्वास जदि आम जगरण कर दृढ़ विश्वास जदि जग्रत कर निश्चित भाव आम यू जहाँ सब प्रोग्राम करे आज जो आम कथबार्ता करे एम सफलता पाइबा से पारे सबकि आम तहत अच्छू विश्वास से मानक देवाई पड़ो जहाँ फल कि 
आम जो चिंताधारा रही आम जो प्रयास बर्तमान रही आम जहाँ चाहू आम जहाँ भापुचु ताको आम निश्चित भाव में पूरण कर जो एम आबजेक्टिव अच्छी भर सब रही से मोर विश्वास ए सब निश्चित भाव पार आम जो प्रयास आम जारी रखा एवं मैडम मैडम आप म्यूट हो गए प्लीज अनम्यूट आई गेस मैडम हैज फिनिश्ड सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैडम फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स एंड गाइडेंस एंड वी विल श्योरली टेक योर गाइडेंस इन फ्यूचर एक्टिविटीज आई है i now invite uh, we have noted a historian from the odisha dr professor dr nivedita mohanty madam i would invite you to share few words and guide us professor nivedita mohanty madam can you hear me or we can we can now uh, i would now request uh, uh, our okay madam is here good evening everybody uh i am happy to be part of this great occasion why i say great because now at least we can aspire rather we are confident that law will reach the adivasis i had always felt that the lack of direct accessibility to law and judiciary as the vital issue affecting the adivasi life for centuries during the pre british time under the rajas in the numerous states the subjects largely the adivasis were at the mercy of the rajas and their darbars with the british since the late 18th century the middleman comes and adivasis had no access to law against exploitation and abuses the british called them savages and deliberately weakened their backbones now what happens after independence there are plans for the development of the adivasis even then niyamgiri happens and we do not understand why a hill should prevent development program during this time the adivasi support us from jharkhand I came to have a sitting dharna at Niyamgiri to assert the rights of the local Adivasis, which are only but human rights. So long back, Vedya Jaluin had said that for the development of the Adivasis, first we have to educate the non-Adivasis, building power and influence. This MOU, I believe, is good going in that direction. We will understand them through our interaction and. attempt to bring them to our forum for it is long time that we have been planning their life without taking them into confidence and bringing them to the discussion it is not true that is primitive they had no law to regulate their life as 22% of our population they have the rich cultural heritage we need to reach out to them and enrich ourselves i wish all the best to this mou to both the institutions and it is going to be revolution bring revolutionary changes to adivasi's life and to our life in general thank you thank you so much madam for uh, your blessings and your kind words we'll definitely try to make some uh, positive change in the life of uh, the tribal people tribal population thank you very much uh, i would now invite my own vice chancellor uh, uh, professor ved kumari uh, who is the inspiration behind this uh, mou and uh, all these activities which we are planning uh, so over to you uh, madam namaskar ye greetings namaskar are uh, universal and this is i'm saying for the benefit of our foreign uh, participants from australia and from belarus 
Um, this is a greeting you can say in the morning, you can say in the afternoon, in the evening, when you meet people and you leave people. So therefore, namaskar to each one of you. And I'm very glad to be part of this uh, uh, small conversation we are having on the signing of the MOU between CARD and NLUO. I've met uh, Dr. Uh, Bejoy a few, uh, uh, Bikram, a Bikram. few times, Bikram, a few times. And he's sitting in the window which shows Vice Chancellor of uh, um, which uh, the Preventia University. Preventia University. So I'm quite sure that uh, the Vice Chancellor is around him only, mm -hmm. and uh, he is uh, sitting in for him. I found him um, a very inspirational person. He told me how he got involved in the uh, tribal rights, and uh, that I was very, uh, very much taken aback that there here is a uh, young fellow who did his PhD work on tribal rights. And then he got so involved that he decided to leave other things and devote his life on this issue. And uh, another thing which has impressed uh, me uh, about him has been his ability to network. This meeting itself is an indication that how he can rope in people from different places and different uh, fields. And he himself is not a tribal, and still working for the tribal rights, I think that's something, another inspiration. Otherwise people speak for themselves and they're happy to be part of uh, struggles which will impact them on their families and their, uh, their, their communities. But here is uh, Dr. Bikram who is uh, uh, doing things for people. He just got inspired by their lives and their experiences during his academic work. At the university, it's a huge achievement. If our students start taking and they're learning from their work seriously and try to improve uh, society that, through that route. Otherwise, most of the time we find that people who dropped out, got into the movements and then they got swayed. But there is a, a, a scholar who has done his PhD on this subject, which has become his life, uh, lifetime goal. And for me, that's very, very impressive. I can see that, uh, and also my congratulations to Professor David Smith, I'm quite sure it is past midnight for you and you are still with us. To me, it only shows that how persuasive and the networking um, Vikram has to have one person from Australia. Are you still sitting in Australia at midnight? Well, I'm actually not in Australia. There, there are two universities of, yeah, of New England, one in Australia and the other in the United States. And I'm in the latter. So okay. I'm so fresh in the United and it's States, morning. What, it still is, okay, it's early morning, it's not midnight at least. <laughs> and uh, um, Svetlana, you are sitting where? Um, I'm in St. Petersburg, which is in Russia, because there's several St. Petersburgs spent, in the US. However, I, I I'm spent, in Russia I this spent evening. One year. I've spent one oh. year in St. Petersburg, in Russia. Oh, <laughs> wow, great. <laughs> that's, that's really I can great. certainly say привет. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no Good evening. Yes. 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 Uh, so certainly it's, it's, it's very interesting to get people uh, from India also. I can see so many states being represented and has got all the salvas. And when I'm hearing people speak, I can see a bright future and actual action happening in this MOU. Universities signed lots of MOUs with lots of universities, NGOs, groups, and the majority of them just remain there on paper that yes, we did an MOU. But I'm quite sure that this MOU is going to be different and uh, it will be connecting people. It will be working on the themes for which we have found uh, this MOU. And uh, I'm looking forward to things happening in this MOU. So thank you once again to each one of you who have joined us in this uh, uh, small introduction. I'm quite sure that you will be connected in the program. And uh, maybe uh, uh, other than the program also, we invite you to join us. But certainly I know that uh, Vikram will be connecting us to a lot more people around the world and in the country. And we will be taking the issues of, uh, in this particular MOU, the tribals. Uh, Orissa being the state of uh, the majority of the population being tribals, I think it is just appropriate that CARD and NLU have joined hands to take this rights and uh, awareness of tribals and uh, progress and development of tribal population in this state. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your uh, guidance and your encouragement. Uh, we will definitely work and we will uh, do all these activities.
Uh, I would now like to invite uh, uh, Madam Sashi Prava Bindhani, former State Information Commissioner, to bless us and guide us. Good evening. I'm so excited. Am I audible? Yes, Madam. Uh, yeah. I'm so excited to be here today and uh, thanks would go to the CARD team. Actually, uh, Dr. Bikram has been uh, cons consistently uh, working towards how to get into the situation and can improve the uh, majority people uh, population of the world, especially the Orissa, uh, in a better way. So this is a very, uh, that means I'm, um, I'm privileged to be here on this occasion and thanks uh, uh, Dr. Beshra um, of uh, raising the issue related to tribal's life. And I was hearing uh, many uh, speakers here. I'll just come to a little bit of uh, some points to uh, raise here. One thing is that uh, we are doing a lot of research, training, and reading, and res uh, many academics work. But th there are two things what I find is very important to understand whether the word used in the anthropological study or sociological study, even the legal regime, uh, we understand the definition of certain words. So there is a, and uh, uh, that means uh, uh, it is very important to also look at when we are doing any research of doing a language study of the things. That means the word we are using and the connotation we understand by using that word. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm, I'll give one example on that also. The second is that uh, the people uh, whom we uh, usually have a perception uh, of uh, tribal people in a, a way uh, that we have to again uh, reflect back uh, to the uh, way we uh, perceive them as a, a citizen of a country or citizen of the world. I am from Mayurbhanj, of course, and uh, the population of tribals is uh, more than 50% there, mostly the Santals are there. And uh, the, there are certain things, actually, when we try to improve the peoples, uh, I mean, not only the tribals, but other than the, uh, us, we uh, think that uh, we know more than about, uh, uh, we know more what they know about themselves. So that's one thing so we have to, again, take care about that type of perception of ours. And the other thing is that it is uh, evidently uh, visible that uh, the access to health, education, livelihood, and the justice is very limited to these uh, populations since they live in a, a region which is uh, also otherwise also not uh, very uh, well connected. Their way of life and improving that. This is the things. And what we are looking at to improve their way of life and understand their way of life. And Dr. Already, the Vishi of Action has already mentioned about certain things. We put those in practice also. Uh, in order to uh, understand uh, Bible's people's uh, we reflect the writer, the rain, the writer forest, how we Problem. Hello. Yes, madam, we can hear Hello. you. Yeah, yeah. There's some little bit disconnection over there. Uh, my audible. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, madam. Please, please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So we are uh, in talking about um, uh, making others' uh, life better for them. So it is also related. There is some technical issue. Okay, uh, 
I think now I'm looking at the Is it so? We, we no. can't hear you properly, no. ma'am. Your voice is breaking. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it is, uh, uh, it is a very important to understand from their perspective. So this is important that we must make a uh, blueprint of uh, people for whom we are going to work and also find out who can support us in this process like also defining the legal rights and also how to create access to their lifestyle. I think uh, if I am audible then it's okay, otherwise we can also uh, keep uh, the discussion for some other webinar meeting. Is it hello? Yes, madam. Okay, so uh, I'm audible. I'm I'm not able to uh, get anyone else. No, there's a lot of disturbance. We are getting your uh, voice intermittently. I think we'll have to move on. Uh, we, we should move on. I would now uh, invite uh, Professor Sanjay Kumar Naik, Vice Chancellor, uh, Revencha University, uh, to share his views, sir. Over to you, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, all. Uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Veda Kumari, uh, Professor Sarad Kumar Palita, Vice Chancellor, Central University, Parakut. Yeah. Dr. Chandi, you are able to hear me, I hope. Yes, you know, sir. Yes, sir. We, we can hear you. Professor Chandi from National Rail and Transportation Institute. Professor Nanda, founding director, Vikram Sila International University. All the dignitaries who are here and addressing on a, such a wonderful uh, event where National Law University, Odisha, and Center for Adivasi Research and Development, CARD, Odisha, is signing an MOU to look forward for the development of Adivasi in particular. My heartiest congratulations to Professor Veda Kumari and the dynamic, uh, intelligent, and whatever you say, the managing director of the company, Dr. Vikram Jena. Uh, I have been associated with uh, CAD for almost a year. And the, the work plan, the objective, I could see is very clear. And with the adding of such renowned universities with CAD can ultimately bring the purpose of establishing CAD. I will not tell much because a lot of people will be speaking and are speaking. I can only say what I used to say regularly. What I can contribute to this forum is industry connect and scaling. This is what I have been doing for last more than three decades. So CADS, one of the prime objective is to make students employable. And unless the course are adopted, which are applied in nature, which will connect to the industry, it will be difficult to sustain and bring this interest of the students. So I look forward to work with such organization CAD and we all who are sitting in various universities in whatever capacity we are, whether it's a vice chancellor or a register or a professor, we all must pledge that this is one forum, one platform. We must work for the development of Adivasis in not only in the state of Odisha, but we should look for the whole country and why not globally. So industry connect, skilling. The first thing I will tell that the managing director of the company, Dr. Jena, must bring all these MOU signed institute together in one virtual, once this, all these are over, 
to revise the mandate probably to ensure the programs are finalized like a board like a syndicate to see that the programs are well designed for the betterment of this sector and i am there to look forward to work with all of you all the support whatever we are getting from various universities my best wishes on this occasion to dr jena and madam professor veda kumari in particular thank you thank you so much sir for your words your guidance and uh, national law university odisha uh, under the leadership of uh, professor veda kumari uh, we are also finalizing uh, such courses where skill and uh, uh, industry connect will be required so we are we are planning a course on a bachelor of vocation uh, so we will definitely take your help and other people who are who are sitting and uh, guiding us here so thank you so much for uh, your guidance sir i would now like to invite uh, professor sharad kumar palita uh, vice chancellor central university koraput uh, sir oh, yes good evening to all of you present and uh, at the outset uh, esteemed madam Beth Kumari, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of National Law University, uh, Professor Sanjay Kumar Nayak, Vice Chancellor Ravensa University, Professor Nanda uh, from Railway University at Vadodara, uh, the Registrar Dr. Singh, and uh, Professor Dr. S K Nanda, the Honorable Guest, Chief Guest, and all the esteemed persons present here. At the outset, I would like to congratulate both Madam uh, Beth Kumari as well as uh, Vikram. for bringing two organizations card and national law university together into a common platform for the benefit and cause of uh, addressing the issues of adivasis my predecessor in the webinar professor nayak has rightly said that a time has come uh, we should talk less and work more because in the last 75 years a lot of thing has been said and we have done achieved and done little for these uh, people and who need to be a major part of our society and uh, i must tell that i uh, i mean i wonder that i have also been associated with vikram and card since more than a year but i thank the young man that he could bring all of us we 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 didn't bring ourselves together but uh, he could be a pivotal point to bring us together and uh, i thank him profusely because he has now covered almost all universities as well as uh, institute management uh, organization um, at sambalpur and one thing madam vedh kumari ji i would like to say that i am at koraput i am in charge vice chancellor we are expecting a new vice chancellor but whatever maybe but uh, we are uh, at a center stage of uh, adivasis uh, koraput koraput region and kbk it has more than uh, 50% of adivasis which are still under privileged access to education basic amenities are still far from them many of them are bonded laborers like this even after 75 years and there is a necessity that along with the skill development we need to provide them their basic rights through legal education as long as we do not uh, provide them they do not know what they are what they expect from this uh, our constitution and the country they will never they will really be down trodden i think this is a great step forward bringing uh, yourself uh, to the card and uh, to all of us and uh, i also equally thank all your team members in the university that it is a great thing and uh, uh, revensa university central into odisha iim sambalpur and many other university including yours now we are a common platform i think uh, bikram has given given us a opportunity to share our uh, uh, problems and prospects together also so madam uh, i think uh, i need not say much it is a great and wonderful opportunity and when government of india is going and saying all the thing relating to skill legal aspect everything this is a open forum where we must meet i think there must be a, every 3 months we all the vice chancellors or who mean business in a university must meet formulate something and take into action and uh, after another 6 months or a year we we'll let us see review what is going on our uh, our relationship uh, with card and all together is really something mean business or not and i think again i congratulate all of you who are present and i think these people i see all of them i think hardly any university also organizes the type of webinar at a national and international level inviting people all throughout the year and it is a great thing done i know i am in a university you are also university what hurdles are we because the bureaucratic system which we have been inherited it also creates a problem so i think vikram is a great boost for all of us 
and let us work not only for the best wishes for card for the entire tribal community adivasis their development let us be united and do something with these words i thank all of you and we say very great time for all of us as well as for the adivasis thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your guidance your blessings uh, i would now request uh, dr antarjita nayak founding director ard of social science research and dr antarjita you are on mute hello yes am i audible hello yes yes we can hear you a very good evening to all <clears throat> it's really a happy moment when two esteemed institutions are going to sign an mou uh, for the betterment of the unprivileged uh, population uh, while uh, i work uh, i basically work into the field uh, where uh, i come into contact with uh, adivasis there i could find that uh, there is this lack of uh, awareness and uh, adivasis are not aware of the policies and plans that are made for their betterment by the government uh, basically uh, whatever uh, plans and policies are being made they could not reach to them so uh, so they so they cannot make a good use or of the plans and policies so if we could uh, work on that area that uh, making aware of their benefits how they could uh, Uh, get a good opportunity from the benefits that we are making within a closed room for the betterment of the adivasis then it may be a good help for them then uh, on uh, second point i would uh, like to point that uh, when we are talking about upliftment of adivasis we should talk about a quality education uh, no doubt we talk about education but education should be quality one because when i uh, visit uh, adivasis will adivasi villages what i find that uh, even though children are going to school but there is lack of motivation among the students among the parents and as well as among the teachers also over there the teachers uh, teach the students with a, uh, a bent of mind that uh, ki uh, what these adivasi children will do if at all they get uh, edu- if at all they get uh, education or if at all they are educated so we have to change this uh, uh, mindset and we have to motivate the children their parents as well as the government teachers this because uh, in the remote areas children have to walk about 5 to 6 kilometers means the primary uh, uh, i am talking about primary education where from class 1 to class 5 children are walking for 5 to 6 kilometers a day to go to school so there is a lack of motivation that uh, what shall we get at the end of the day if we are educated and this motivation this lack of motivation is carried from generation to generation from parents to the teachers and from teachers to the students so somewhere i could find that there is a lack of quality education so here uh, if we could uh, empower uh, our uh, means empower the adivasis by creating an awareness or by motivating the parents about the benefits of teaching and education and moreover we should encourage a quality education uh, by uh, giving a, a language oriented education because adivasi even though we teach them in odia there are certain odia languages also which the adivasis could not understand and moreover we do not have any audio visual clips also that which can which we can make a better understanding for the children Uh, so in this area if uh, ardf would uh, uh, if if ardf uh, can help in, uh, in in this area that we can find out the problems and assess the remedies for it that are really faced by the adivasis basically focusing on the education health of women and children because in this uh, areas we can find that women and children are the most neglected one and uh, and uh, actually their upliftment is the need of the hour uh, so if it, if we could uh, basically focus in a collaborative way to enhance and uplift the health and education in a combo of the children as well as the women then we can uh, uh, then um, then we can uh, crack a good uh, scope 
to enhance and uplift uh, the adivasis um, in and around uh, not only in odisha but throughout uh, india uh, with this I, I i would really thank um, card and <clears throat> national law university that uh, they are uh, getting into uh, a good job that they could uh, provide a good platform uh, for the upliftment of uh, adivasis in a better direction thank you everyone thank you so much dr antajita i would now uh, request uh, uh, dr shubhas parik uh, to say few words dr shubhas can you hear us okay i would i would request uh, dr bikram to say few words uh, because he is the person who made this yeah. event thank you thank you so much sir okay thank you thank you sir please speak professor shubhas thank you thank you all at the outset i am very much thankful to vikram dr vikram for initiating such a beautiful program and it is a very nice step that he is the only boy in our state who is sincerely thinking for the upliftment of the tribal of our state there are so many professors in odisha but who did not think about this and that's why i am very much thankful to him for initiating this sort of programs in our state i am also very much thankful to the national law for signing this type of mous because 25% of the total population of our state belonging to the tribals if tribals were not developed then our state would not be developed and that's why in this direction dr vikram jana had taken the drastic step sincerely had taken this step for the upliftment of the tribals of our state and my sincere thanks and well wishes to this organization for the for its steps taking for the upliftment of the tribals thank you thank you very much thank you professor subhas parik uh, dr vikram thank you sir thank you so much it's not uh, the time to thank you because it's a beginning i would say it's a fantastic initiative taken by professor ved kumari the honorable vice chancellor of national law university what she spoke oh, about it's really, really very i am not deserving any of your words madam as a student i should always learn from people like you and all the participants all the invitees today here like professor dr sk nanda uh, indian administrative service the founding director of vikram uh, sala international university professor sanjay kumar naik vice chancellor honorable vice chancellor of uh, ravenswa university professor ved kumari ji vice chancellor national law university odisha dr yogesh pratap singh registrar national law university odisha professor sarath kumar palita vice chancellor central university of odisha professor chandi prasad nanda national rail and transport institution baroda the first railway university of our country dr antartita naik madam sashi prabha vindani the former uh, information commissioner of uh, odisha professor nivedita mahanti the one of the finest lady and great historian of our region odisha professor david livingstone smith the man of our advisor and he has the mentor of our card so many years professor setlina s badruna the professor of set uh, petersburg state university of russia we people are quite little bit familiar with these days the russia is in crisis and what happened there still madam with us it's a great privilege and honor for us and dr uh, professor sinivas solvenes and our global amb ambassador the one and only madam professor damayanti bistra and dr subhashri panda the director of tribal studies national law university and other delegates and participants what we suggest to do through madam's voice madam rightly mentioned in her few minutes of talk we are consolidated ourselves in the global perspective we are a holistic thing this is a time to sacrifice few of our present minutes for others future with this word and with this very holistic noble cause we can think and we can visualize the world in a different manner that should be depended on habitability 
sustainability and solidarity. These are the main co constraints of this Center for Adivasi Research and Development. We bring together, together many people, listen ideas and try to impl implement in field. Because last decade, I wandering throughout my life journey spent with these tribal minorities. And what I saw, what I observed, it's very painful and very dramatic and very problematic. I want to solve these issues through your guidance, sir and madam. I would love to take your blessings. I would love to take your guidance. I would love to take your support as well in coming days, still to fight and still to work together. This is the time to collaborate hands, put together hands to give a sustainability solidarity in terms of this global crisis of a post-pandemic life world. If you see, the tribal people are not even taking seriously this pandemic because their immunity, immunity system is so strong than us. This is a time I will wind up here. Let us go to worship Lord Sibo. At the same time, we must worship his home, that is forest. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Vikram, for uh, bringing all these people together and uh, signing this MOU with National Law University Odisha. We will definitely work out all these uh, activities in future. Uh, I would now uh, request Dr. Shubashri also, she is a director of our tribal center for tribal studies, uh, to uh, say a few words uh, in one minute uh, so that we can wrap up. Shubashri. Good morning, everyone, uh, respected dignitaries. With the souring of blessings upon us, I'm sure that we will take this, uh, all that activities that are coming uh, as a team, our NLEO team and the CAR team will definitely actualize all those expectations from all the dignitaries and the participants. And uh, thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for, uh, you know, souring blessings. I'm really happy that ma'am is so sure that Yes, this MOU will work and uh, our center will do wonders. And thank you, thank you very much, all the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Shubhashri. Uh, you have to plan out your activities, the activities of the center uh, with uh, CARD and other people who are uh, participating in this event. So now we are uh, at the end of the session event. Uh, now I would request uh, Mr. Rudra from CARD Center for Adivasi Research and Development to deliver vote of thanks. Rudra? Rudra, can you hear me? Dr. Vikram, he is here. Rudra is there. He seems to be speaking, but we cannot hear him. Okay. Uh, don't worry, sir. I will give the vote of thanks. Yes, yes. Hard as well. <laughs> My first and foremost vote of thanks goes to Professor Beth Kumariji, the Honorable Esteemed Vice Chancellor of National Law University, Odisha, and Dr. Yagas Pratap Singh, Honorable Register, National Law University of Odisha, and then Professor Dr. S.K. Nayak, S.K. Nanda, Professor uh, Sarat Kumar Palita, Professor Chandi Prasad Nanda, Dr. Antar Jita Nayak. Madam Sasi Prama Vidhani, Professor Nivedita Mahanti, Professor David Livingston Smith, Professor Setlina S. Bardulama, Padmasri, Dr. Damanti Bisra, Professor Srinivas Luenes, Dr. Subhastri Panda, and the audiences, those are watching us in YouTube and Facebook. It's really great privilege and honor to be a part of with us, a historic day for Odisha as National Law University of Odisha Katak and Center for Adivasi Research and Development, CARD. Telling you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, 
we are grateful to all the dignitaries all the speakers and all the participants of this event thank you so much we will close the session